It's good to know Office 365 includes an online version of PowerPoint, which you can use to make quick changes to a presentation right in the browser. For example, we'll click a link to a shared PowerPoint file in this email. And PowerPoint Online opens in the web browser. This is a handy way to preview a slideshow. Just click or tap the screen to advance the slides. To make changes, you can edit the presentation. Choosing to Edit in PowerPoint to use the full functionality of PowerPoint if it's installed on the computer. Or Edit in PowerPoint Online to make quick changes right in the browser. For instance, to add new slides or text to an existing slide. The ribbon has a limited number of commands, but everything you need to format text. Or from the Insert tab, insert something on the slide, like a picture, a smart art diagram, or a cool shape. The ribbon is contextual, so it shows the drawing tools, which includes these quick style options when the shape is selected. From the Design tab, you can update the theme for the entire presentation with just a click. Other tabs are available to manage transitions, which are the effects between slides, or apply basic animation effects to jazz things up a bit. To see the presentation in action, open the View tab and you'll find the Slideshow button. This way you can preview the slideshow in a separate browser window. Again, just click the mouse on the screen to advance the slides. You might have noticed there isn't a Save button on the ribbon. PowerPoint Online constantly saves your work, so there's no need to save the file manually. You do have the option to download a copy of the presentation, should you want to save a separate copy to your computer. Click the back arrow to close the file options and the link at the top of the screen to return to the source library. The sales team site, in our case, on Office 365.